Welcome to At Home with Music. In the last video, I mentioned that we were going to begin studying the Renaissance period, but then I realized that I wanted to highlight some of the instruments that were used during the medieval period. So in this video, we're going to look at six instruments. Of course, there were more than six, but I want to look at six of the main instruments that were used during the medieval period. I think you'll find these very interesting. Some of them you may be familiar with and some you probably have never heard of. So let's take a look at some of these instruments. Well, let's take a look at six of them and I'll also let you hear what they sounded like. Okay, we want to look at some instruments from the Middle Ages. To go into a detailed history of each of these instruments is way beyond the scope of this video. You could really write long articles and produce long videos detailing the history of each of these instruments. My goal here is to introduce you to six instruments from the Middle Ages and give you a brief description of each of them. We'll show you some pictures and we'll let you hear how they sound. You may be familiar with some of these instruments, as I mentioned, and others will definitely be new to you. So let's start with probably one of the most famous instruments from the Middle Ages, and that's the lute. Throughout the Middle Ages, lutes became the most admired of all musical instruments. And in fact, there were many great, famous lute players spread across Europe. They could go play in the royal courts and in the palaces, and <laughs> consequently, a number of them were employed as spies. Also, if you were a craftsman who made lutes, why, you could make a lot of money from making lutes and selling them to lute players. And you remember when we talked about the troubadours and the trouviers? They helped popularize the lute. Pretty obvious reasons, of course. They also wanted to be able to sing, and so they couldn't, they couldn't really play a woodwind instrument, but they could sing and play at the same time if they were playing a lute. So the lute, for nearly 500 years, was played in the courts and cities of Europe. And really, in Western musical history, there is no other instrument that's equal to the lute in combined longevity and stature. The next instrument that I'd like to tell you about is the psaltery. And the word psaltery actually comes from the Greek word psalterion. It explains that that's an instrument that's played using the fingers rather than using a, a, a like a guitar pick, or the more fancy word for it is a plectrum. <laughs> and so early versions of the psaltery were just like a wooden board with a string stretched between pegs, and then you'd pluck them with your fingers. Later versions of the psaltery included a hollow box or sound board with sound holes, kind of almost looks a little bit like a guitar and it had metal strings, but the player would play the psaltery on his lap, or he'd put it on a table, or in front of the chest held with a strap around his neck. And so that's the psaltery. The next instrument is called the rebec, or rebec. I'm not exactly sure if that's pronounced correctly, but it is a bowed stringed instrument, and it was very popular in the, med in the uh, medieval era, and also into the early Renaissance. It has a narrow body that's kind of shaped like a boat, and it had between one and five strings. You'd hold it on your arm and, or under your chin, and actually it's sort of a forerunner of the violin. So that's the rebec. And then here's another medieval instrument, or instrument from the Middle Ages, uh, with which you might be familiar, and that's the recorder. Maybe you've tried to play one of these. I have a few of them hanging around here in my studio, actually. And the recorder is part of the woodwind family. And it's part of the uh, group of instruments that are known as internal duct flutes. In other words, flutes that have a whistle mouthpiece. <laughs> Another name for them is the fipple flute. <laughs> Try saying that several times fast. Fipple flute. Well, a recorder can be distinguished from other duct flutes by the presence of a thumb hole for the upper hand and seven finger holes, three for the upper hand and four for the lower. The next instrument is the shawm. And this is a loud, loud double reed instrument, which is the ancestor of the modern day oboe. It first appeared in the 13th century 
and by the end of the Middle Ages, it was the most important loud instrument in use. You'd find it in a medieval dance band or as a part of an ensemble for municipal and court ceremonies. In fact, most towns during the medieval Middle Ages era had sham bands on the civic payroll, and they would call them up and say, hey, you guys got to come and play for this social event or this big ceremonial event. Or at the, if you'd go up in the tower and play the all's well signal. Anyway, it, it continued to be popular all the way into the Renaissance period, and then gradually it was replaced by the oboe family. And uh, eventually, of course, the oboe became an instrument that's used in music from the classical period. And finally, we're going to look at the chomba marina. You can also call it a marine trumpet or a nun's fiddle. Another bowed string instrument that was used in medieval and Renaissance Europe, very popular in the 15th century, and it actually survived into the 18th century. So the tromba marina usually just has one string, and it was played in Europe, particularly in France and Germany. Where in the world did they get the name tromba marina? Well, tromba refers to the trumpet-like sound of the instrument, and marina refers to the Virgin Mary, as the tromba marina was often played in churches and monasteries. Of course, the instrument was also used in other places, like the opera, and court music, and there's probably around 300 compositions have been written for this particular instrument. So, there you have it. These are some of the popular instruments that were used during the Middle Ages, during the medieval period, and I encourage you to follow the links in the description to hear the complete pieces. I'm just playing little excerpts from them here in the video, and you can also actually see the instruments being played in some of the videos. Thanks again for watching. I encourage you to like the video and subscribe to At Home With Music as we continue our journey from medieval to modern.